Hello, Yana Webb here, and welcome back to your piano tutorials. This is going to be part two of the part one of If I Ain't Got You. What we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you the left and right hand chords for the first part of the verse where she goes, Some people live for the fortune, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to go through this very slowly, and as always, Please take your time. I'm going to break it down into left hand separately, right hand separately, and I will teach you how to do them both together. Please take the time um, to just come back to this video and just break it up into small bits if it starts to get too overwhelming. If you do enjoy this video, please like and comment and share. If you are looking forward to future videos, please hit the subscribe button if you're on YouTube, and I look forward to seeing you in the future videos going from here. So. Again, I'm not going to go too much into the basics of learning piano. If you are a complete beginner, I invite you to watch my video on how, the basics of how to navigate through the piano. And you can always come back to this video and start from there. So what's going to happen is um, I'm going to show you the, um, the part where she goes, some people live for the fortune, some people live just for the fame, some people live for the power, some people live just to play the game. I think that's how the, you know, the... Um, <laughs> the, the lyrics go, but you guys get the idea where we're going to start. So, what it's going to sound like, it's going to sound like this once we're done. just when she sings um some people live for the fortune some people live for the fame when she sings the second part some people live for the power some people just play the game it's really just the same thing you know in terms of just it the chords it themselves repeating so this shouldn't be nearly as long as the previous video i've done where i went over the intro so let me just show you from the very beginning so as far as fingering i'm going to be a little bit more um liberal with that you can choose whatever fingering that you like or you can just choose the ones that I do. So for reference, this is middle C here. And then an octave below that is the C where we're going to start for the, um, let me see something. Actually, we'll do it this way. We'll start with, so here's middle C, right? The note that we're going to start with, we're going to start with the left hand. We're going to start with our thumb on the D that is below middle C. That would be our starting point, starting, starting point. Then we're going to go to G with our fifth finger. And then what's going to happen is our fourth finger is going to go to the black key just above G, which is going to be, it's called G sharp, or it's also called A flat. So we'll have our fourth finger here, right? And then we're going to do another walk up, one half step up to A. And then we're going to find our way back to our thumb on G. So it's going to go like this, bum, D, I said, did I say G, I meant to think D. So it's going to be D, G, then we're going to have our fourth finger go to G sharp, which is just at the black, it does a half step above, then we do another half step, which lands our third finger on A, then we're going to go back up to D with our thumb. So, ba -ba, some people live for the fortune. The next part. Some people live for the power, yeah, yeah. Some people live just to play the game. I'm probably messing up the lyrics. I really don't care. <laughs> the point is to learn it on keys. The keys and the chords are what matters. So that's the bass line for the left hand, right? Hello, Ayana here really quick. I hope you're enjoying this tutorial, this video. I wanted to bring to your attention that I have launched my gold coaching program where you will get bi-weekly live lessons with either myself or any of my instructors. We will go over different aspects of piano where you may not be able to get it with a private teacher. We'll talk about topics like how to um, write music, how to do live performances, how to work and rehearse with bands. We'll talk about improvisation. We'll talk about different genres and you'll be able to interact with us live and be able to ask questions and we'll do 
challenges will also keep you accountable. So you'll get like a next level experience when it comes to learning piano and reaching your goals. So that's what you're interested in. There is a link below this video in the description box for watching on YouTube to book a complimentary call with one of us to see if you're a good fit for the program. I suggest you do it very soon because our slots are always closing because I'm always sending this out to a bunch of people. So go ahead and click below and we look forward to talking to you on the phone. Now, again, take your time with it. Um, if you wanna practice it for a little bit and then come back to this video, we can do that, right? So what's gonna happen is, now the right hand really only plays like three chords, um, but the left hand is gonna do a little bit of more moving around when the right hand kind of stays in place in some parts. So the first chord that the right hand is gonna play, again, this is the reference point, this is middle C, right? So the right hand is gonna start with its one finger on the G that is under middle C, right? That's gonna be our starting point. So we're gonna play actual chords this time. If you remember the intro, we broke up the chords into arpeggios, arpeggiated pattern. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna play whatever chord that we're playing, we're gonna play all three notes at the same time. So the thumb is gonna be on G, our third finger is gonna be on middle C, and our fifth finger is gonna be on E as an A. We're gonna play all three notes at the same time. That's gonna be the first chord that we're gonna play. And then very carefully, the next chord we're gonna play is going to be, our thumb is gonna to go to G flat, our third finger is gonna to go to B as in boy, and our fifth finger is gonna to go to D as in dog, right? So if you play those two chords at the same time, G, A, C, sorry, G, yeah, G, C, E. And then we're gonna to go to G flat, B, D, right? Now the next part is actually quite easy because the third and fifth finger, so we're playing B and D here, right? We're gonna keep those where they are. We're gonna swap out our thumb from G flat and we're gonna use our two finger to play A flat and we're gonna keep these two where they are, right? And then what's gonna happen is we have A flat, B and D, and then for the third chord, we're gonna go back to the first chord, right? So it just happens, they just happen to be the same chord. Um, we're gonna have thumb on G, third finger on C, and then fifth finger on E, right? And then we're gonna play the same chord again. So, the way you play from the beginning is gonna go, so this chord, G, C, E, and then G flat, B, D. Some people live for and then two finger goes to A flat, and then the third and fifth finger stay where they are. For the fortune, right? And then we're gonna go back to what would be the first chord, G, C, E. Some people live just for the fame. So it's the same chord, but the left hand's gonna change. So you'll kinda see how that works. And it's the same thing, bum, bum. Some people live for the power, yeah, yeah. Just to play the game. And then if you want to add some pizzazz to it at the end, you can do the ba 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 ba. Right? So it's just the same chord, you know, G C E you're gonna play it four times. Ba 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 ba. So it will go Some people live just to play the game. Ba 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 ba. So you can, you know, choose to do that if you want to, kind of give it some character. Now, again, please take some time just breaking it up. Um you know, just be patient with yourself. There's no rush in learning this song. So once you've gotten the right hand, now we can start putting them both together. So what's gonna happen is the starting point, remember reference point once again is middle C. We're going to have our thumb for our left hand on D. Our right hand's gonna start with our, its thumb on G, which is only four keys apart from each other. So it's gonna be G, C, E. So one, three, five, G, C, E. Left hand thumb on G. That's gonna be the first chord. And the way it's played in the song, this is actually a very quick chord because it just kind of goes ba ba, right? So, but I wouldn't worry too much about that for now. Just worry about learning it. So, boom. Then when the left hand goes to G with its fifth finger, the right hand's gonna go to that G flat B D chord, right? Then what's gonna happen is both the left and right hand are gonna go to A flat. Well, I said G sharp you know, before, but it's both G sharp and A flat are the same chord, right? So they'll both go to A flat at the same time where the left hand, fourth hand is gonna to go to A flat, the right hand is gonna swap that two finger from one finger over to A flat, 
And then remember, it's going to be A flat, D, sorry, A flat, B, D, right? So if we're starting from the beginning, it's going to sound like this. And then A flat on the left hand, A flat, B, D on the right hand. Then what's going to happen on the third chord, you're going to have your left hand third finger on A, and your right hand is going to go back to that G, C, E chord, right? Then when your right hand plays it a second time, the left hand is going to move from A to D with this thumb. So when you loop that whole thing, it goes, some people live for the fortune. And then you're gonna literally just loop it the same way. Bum, bum. Some people live for the power. Yeah, yeah. And then remember, if you wanna add that little pizzazz at the end, you can just play this four times along with the left hand playing D four times. You know. So now you have. Some people live for the fortune. Bum, dun. Da, 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 ba, ba. Some people live for the power, yeah, yeah. Some people live just to play the game. Ba, 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 ba. So that's pretty much how the first part of that uh, that verse goes. And then what I will do for the next video is I will show you the part where it goes. Ba, da, 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 but that will be for a different video. So um, if you enjoyed this video. I would encourage you to check out my online, my full online piano course for beginners if you want to really take your piano playing to the next level and especially if you are a bare beginner um, and if you want to start kind of building the tools that you need to learn more songs like these. In my course I go over how to navigate through the piano. You'll get to learn your scales. You'll get to learn how to play with both hands together. You'll get to learn how to play in different keys and all the tools for that. You'll get some printable sheet music. You'll also get to learn the theory behind how to play different types of chords that are used in pop and jazz and all that good stuff. So if you want to learn more about that course, um, if you're on YouTube, there should be a link in the description box of this video. If you're on Facebook, it should be in the description box uh, above or below the video. And if you're on Instagram, it is the link in the description box of my profile page. So thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you in part three of this cover tutorial. Thanks for watching.